some locations just not getting a whole lot. So this is the kind of trend. Look at this spin showing up over here in this part of Georgia. This is that little area that we were watching south of our coast. If you saw some activity online or something like that or watched our forecasts over the weekend, that has now moved inland. So that chance for tropical development with that is going to be very slim. Of course, since it's over land, no access to warm water, but eventually it will have a medium chance of developing once it moves off the east coast. While we're watching a surface low pressure also near us, a stationary front. We've kind of had a stationary front kind of draped across the northern part of the Gulf Coast for a while. But we will continue with this setup probably tomorrow before high pressure that you saw over to the west begins to move in and dry us out. Here's that medium chance for development once that low pressure area emerges over some of these warm ocean waters off the east coast. And just for a quick kind of look at what might happen with that, this is our model going forward in time to Thursday. And actually, this one keeps the low even by then right over the coast of the Carolinas. So if it eventually merges uh, out here and emerges over the Atlantic, that's when it would have the chance, of course, to develop. So we'll keep our eye on that, but it won't affect us. Rain totals today at the airport were more than an inch already. Downtown has gotten near a quarter inch of rain, and we are continuing with our rain chance this afternoon. Highs today might be in the 80s, maybe 86 or so if we do get breaks um, in the rain, but I think it may actually be kind of a mid 80s sort of high temperature day or even low 80s for the high. Later tonight, lows in the 70s, humid conditions, and the rain tapers off this evening. So here's our forecast model going forward in time here to 3 p.m. Still a chance for some heavy pockets of rain. This could be 6 p.m. and then on toward 8 o'clock. Everything kind of going downward as far as the intensity and coverage of rain. Tomorrow we will do it again though. We have that low end risk for some flooding rain both today and tomorrow in the especially perhaps northern parts of our viewing area. And oh yeah, in the tropics, we have the east storm. This formed um, yesterday, tropical storm Edward. Not going to do much except maybe maintain its status as a tropical storm for a little while more. It is the earliest east storm, fifth storm on record. The previous one was July 12th, so we're a week ahead of that earliest record, which was set in 2005. There's one other spot where we're watching, but that one has a really low chance of development way out in the Atlantic. Here's our forecast showing the downward trend with rain chances by Wednesday and it will really heat up after that.